Frankie's a monster. Yamato has a devil fruit. Confirmed. Zoro. Didn't get much of an update on him. Luffy's awake. And uh, Sanji and Queen are bickering. But before we get into that, if you guys like these videos, please consider liking and subscribing. Maybe drop a comment. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Alright, so the chapter starts off with Sanji and Queen kind of, you know, bickering a little bit. Queen shooting some lasers and uh, Sanji saying Frankie would like some stuff like this. Hence, what, what may, mostly the chapter is about. Frankie and Sasaki fighting, so. Couple little panels there. We get a couple panels of Zoro, them trying to administer his his shot to make him, you know, heal up and stuff like that. Um, a little bit of a funny moment, you know, him being angry because they're not getting it done and asking if they can even do it. And then we actually get a, an update on Luffy. And the update on Luffy is that he's not dead. He's okay. He wants meat. That's pretty much what it is. The heart pirates are on the submarine. They've got him. They're, you know, pumping all the water out of his stomach and everything like that in his lungs and and trying to get him to wake up. And they think that they might have to give him an injection. Ultimately, they don't. Luffy wakes up. And uh, you guessed it. He's screaming for meat. So he really wants meat. I don't think he was maybe as injured as we might have thought because this is a little playful, obviously. Um... I think the water did more damage to him than than anything as far as being unconscious. Sure, Kaido still kicked his ass, right? But I don't think it was uh, anything brutal. I feel like Luffy probably got caught off guard, hit with a big shot, and got knocked the fuck off Onigashima. So, I mean, yeah, he lost uh, the second time. So, I'm not disputing that, but... This makes it kind of feel like it wasn't that bad, right? Like, he's yelling for meat. He's not in agonizing pain. So, but we get that little bit of an update, and then the chapter goes into Frankie and Sasaki. And they start out kind of, you know, talking about how people are turning the tides, and, and they're starting to fight for the other side and such, and Sasaki's annoyed by it, and basically says he wants to get to the live floor. He wants to get to the live floor to skewer all of the traitors. And obviously, Frankie is not going to let him do that. So they start duking it out. And it starts out, you know, with a little bit of talking here while he's, he's transformed into his Triceratops, and then he goes into his hybrid form. His hybrid form does not look very cool at all. At least I don't think. I think it looks pretty... Pretty basic or kind of lame, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know. It's not that cool. But what is cool is his weird-ass spinning sword, which goes right along with his weird-ass spinning head spikes. Like, what the hell? I, th I thought that shit was, like, attached to your neck. Like, well, at least uh, not ours, but on Triceratops. I thought that was attached to their neck, and I, I know it is. I'm like 100% certain. But Sasaki here can spin that fucking thing and make himself fly and levitate and move backward and forward at high speeds by increasing his momentum. Which, what the fuck? That's odd. So he, he's got this uh, Karakuri Helix sword that starts spinning and... Uh, he starts dicing up some of the, the traitors and and coming at him and shit like that. And he calls it his Triceracopter. That's right. Triceracopter, which is the name of the chapter. Um, I don't have too many thoughts on that. but uh, So Frankie and him start going at it, exchanging blows and such. Ultimately, Frankie's sword gets broken and Sasaki kind of backs up and comes in for a big blow. Frankie pulls out the general shield. He stops most of the impact. Um, ultimately, Frankie's shoulder misfires and blows up. And Sasaki kind of, you know, feeling a little confident. Well, Frankie suplexes his ass, general suplex. And then hits him with, uh, he, shoot, he slashes his sword for a victory V slash. That doesn't really do anything. Sasaki gets out of the way of it. Goes back up in the air. 
and comes down and as he's coming down uh he breaks frankie's sword so the sword gets broken and then frankie's kind of left you know oh i don't really have a bunch of weapons so i'm just gonna pull out all the stops and try to one hit ko you basically sasaki comes in for the uh with a tricera bullet this time it's looking like he's he's di he's like dive bombing with his neck spinning and his sword extended out like he was going to thrust you know uh frankie shoots the gal cannon encore and hits him pretty fucking hard because he starts coughing blood and shit and he's you know getting knocked back in the air and he he's looks he looks pissed then all uh, frankie kind of you know jumps out of the suit sasaki comes down and frankie hits him with a radical beam and looks like he probably knocks him unconscious so that we got a really cool frankie fight here it was really high pace a lot of shit happened basically just each one of them threw everything they had at each other all at once and frankie came out on top at least for round one don't think this fight's completely over but frankie takes round one for sure now he doesn't it looks like general frankie's fucked up he probably isn't going to be using general frankie anymore so if sasaki does get up uh frankie's gonna have a, a pretty hard fight on his hands because frankie's not that big compared to sasaki's hybrid form and then lastly we go back to the rooftop and we get some yamato kaido action here basically them kind of talking about he basically was a shitty dad she ate a devil fruit she now is confirmed to have a devil fruit it's a zone type we aren't sure what she is exactly um i'm leaning towards some kind of fox thing um and initially i was a little confused because of the horns but i just honestly forgot that yamato already had horns and just like kaido their horns kind of change a little bit when they're in hybrid form so she's in hybrid form and she's got you know sharp teeth pointy nose longer ears her face is obviously a lot more delicate looking uh than it it normally does in her normal form so i'm kind of leaning towards a fox a little bit because um it's just kind of what it looks like to me um and at the end she says if i abandon this country how could i call myself odin so that's where it ends raises a couple questions about yamato especially you know what exactly type is her zone fruit what exactly is the stuff coming off of her it looks wispy like some wispy fire maybe um but it could just be it, it connects to her hair obviously right so is her hair fire or is it just hair what, what is it that's what i want to know so we got a good amount of information here we got a sweet ass fight with frankie uh very satisfying that the, the way the fight ended in the chapter and we get a little bit of more Yamato Kaido stuff. Obviously, we didn't see any more Frankie and Who's Who's fight. I kind of figured that that's what that would be. I, th I felt that they would get away from it a little bit, come back to it here and there, maybe for a couple more panels, kind of like they're going to... It seems like they're going to show a couple panels of some things going on, major fight for half the chapter or so, a couple panels at the end. And I like this pace. It's not bad. It's not like Dress Rosa where at least in the anime of dress rosa where it just kind of like hopped around so much that it felt lackluster but this is fine with me um so overall i thought the chapter was good didn't think it was anything spectacular or over exciting but it was it was very entertaining and i i love anytime we see like a over the top ridiculous fight with frankie so so that's that, and uh, again, if you guys like these videos, consider liking and subscribing. Drop a comment. If you like podcasts, check out my podcast. I also have on this YouTube channel with a couple of my buddies. We do it every Sunday, uh, live on twitch.tv slash thechaoticnerds. We upload Monday to, tw to YouTube, and we also have a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I almost forgot the third one. Uh, all at The Chaotic Nerds with a Z. Give us a follow check us out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.